This is McFly Angler. starts now. To start, we will need a streamer hook like these 300s from Riz and Fly. And today I'm tying a size 8. Place the hook securely in your vise. For thread, I really like this Vivas 6 aught and today I'm using brown. Start your thread right behind the hook eye, and then snip or snap off the waist. Then bring your thread down to the start of the hook bend, and then come back up a wrap or two. Now we need some marabou for the tail. I'm tying a brown bugger today. So I'm using this brown marabou. If your marabou strands are thin, then grab two of them and align the tips together like so. Now measure out about a hook shank length tail, and I find wetting the marabou helps with the next step. Tie down the tail tight with a few wraps, and then advance your thread all the way up to just shy of the hook eye. Cut off the excess marabou and then clean up the tip with some wraps. Bring your thread back down to the start of the tail. Now we need some crystal flash, and today I'm using gold. I like two strands, but you can use more if you would like. Cut off the strands from the hank, and then tie in the flash so it extends out to just about the length of the tail. But you can make them longer or shorter as well, it's up to you. Once they are tied down to the side of the tail, then wrap the forward facing strands around rearward, and tie those down on the other side as well. Then cut them to the same length. Bring your thread up to the eye of the hook. Now we need some chenille. This medium sized rayon chenille will work perfectly, and again I'm using brown. Tie in the chenille right behind the hook eye, and then wrap that down the hook shank to the start of the tail, keeping the chenille from spinning on the hook. Now we need some wire. Today I'm using this brassy size gold wire. A piece this long should tie about 3-4 to four of these flies. Tie the wire in on the side of the hook like so, making sure that the wire extends a fair ways up the hook shank for security, but not past the hook eye. Bring your thread back up to just shy of the hook eye. We will now make some touching wraps up the hook shank with the chenille. And then capture it near the hook eye, leaving a small space right behind the eye of the hook. Cut off the waist close. Now we need some hackle. You can use a few different kinds of hackle here. Today I have in front of you a hen saddle and a rooster cape. The cape is going to have more stiff fibers, which I find better for buggers that you will use in a river. However, the softer hackle on a hen saddle would be better for still water fishing where you want those fibers to flow. For this fly, let's choose the hackle here from the hen saddle. Make sure that the fibers are long enough to extend out at the base of the feather to about two times the hook gap. Pluck off a feather and then prepare it by pulling off the discolored fuzzy fibers at the base of the feather like so. To tie these in, I like making an X wrap over the feather so it stays sticking out perpendicular from the hook shank. Then pull back the stem and tie that down so it will not pull out. Snip off the waist. Grab the tip of the hackle with some hackle pliers and then proceed to palmer the hackle down the hook shank. Now I like to start with two wraps at the head and then open spiral wrap down the hook shank until you reach the tail. Once you reach the tail, then capture it with the wire. Pull off the hackle pliers and then proceed to counter wrap the wire up the hook shank over the hackle to secure it up the hook shank so it won't pull out. Now this will trap some of the fibers and that's okay, we will fix this in a minute. Once you reach the head of the fly, then capture the wire with some tight wraps. And then you can simply helicopter the wire off clean. Brush out the soft hackle with a stiff toothbrush and then also use your bodkin to pick out any of the trapped fibers like so. Now you can whip finish your fly. I like to brush it out once more here. Then to secure the whip finish, my favorite stuff is the Solarez Ultra Thin UV Resin. Paint a little on the head of the fly. It's thin enough to penetrate the thread wraps and will cure very hard and leave a nice professional looking finish as well. And then cure it with your UV light. And there we have it, the finished woolly bugger with soft hackle. As you can see in fast moving water, the fibers kind of break down. It doesn't push as much water as a stiffer fibered hackle would. 
However, it really shines when the current is shut off. You can see that the fibers flow freely. The movement of this fly is excellent for slow moving or still water, and every little strip or wiggle will make it move like it's a real life bug or bait fish. In fact, some people say buggers mimic crayfish. So this even seems to me like crayfish where you see their legs moving under them. So when fishing a still water fishery for trout, bass, or sunfish, try using a softer hackle for your buggers. Now next week I plan on tying another woolly bugger, but that time it'll be with a more stiff cape feathers so you can see the difference. Don't miss that video. Let me know in the comments section what your favorite feathers are to use for tying your woolly buggers. As you all know, I have gotten you all discounts from both www.risenfly.com and www.dooliesflyfishing.com. Dooleys offers great prices on all of the name brand fly tying materials, and Risen Fly manufactures their own hooks, rods, reels, and other gear for fly fishing. Their products are top quality, and best of all, they are priced very reasonably. Not only are the prices at these two shops great, but like I said, they are offering all of my subscribers a discount. So use McFly at checkout when ordering from either of these shops, and you will get an additional 15% off of their already great prices. I want to also thank all of my Patreons who support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel, and also get some great perks like early access to my videos, participate in live streams, and more. So go to www.patreon.com forward slash McFly Angler to sign up today. I also thank all of you who share all my videos with your friends and your continued support by hitting the like buttons and subscribing. Thank you for making these videos possible. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.